Hey YouTube, this is a video right up for the challenge Polyglot from CodeFest CTF 2018. Uh, challenge prompt here essentially gives us uh, some C source code and apparently a like compiler or GCC weird thing uh, that we actually didn't end up even using or needing at all to solve the challenge. Um, props to... I think it was Sarunint on the Discord server, in our, in our Discord team, and the, the team that we play with uh, to tackle this. He just, like, stumbled upon it and totally solved it, and super duper cool. So props to you, showcasing it because of you. Um, we actually have, I went ahead and downloaded the source code here, so let's take a look at it. And what we particularly notice in the source code is that it has a lot of peculiar white space in it, like random spaces and tab characters. Um, so this is a pretty good indicator of something like white space steganography, where it may be trying to hide a message or information out of uh, spaces and tabs, which could actually be interpreted as binary ones and zeros. So that's what we tried to go with, and let's actually create a script to go ahead and work with that. I'll call this just a getflag.py. Pretty confident that we'll get the flag with this. Don't need to call it ape or whatever. Let's go ahead and actually open up the secret file, secret.c, and try and handle it and work with it. Um, I should go ahead and do this with like a context manager because people are hating on me for that, but whatever. Let's just actually get the new lines off of it in our read lines because we want to read through this uh, line by line for x and this thing and then h dot close. Okay, so for line in C, we can print that line and then we have the source code written here with the spaces and tabs and all that included. Let's go ahead and try and scrape out just those characters. Let's go ahead and import regular expressions. Um, I, I, I did this XE all, all the way to the very end without the new line character because read lines will create a list or an array for us but will include the new line characters at the very end. I don't particularly want them. So let's run now re.find all with our line, but let's get any um, raw string for one thing. Let's get any multiple of white space characters. So see what we got here. Uh, find all, sorry. Run this, and now you can see. Okay, sometimes we are getting a actual occurrence where we match multiple space characters or a tab character, etc. So we can say. Uh, num or whatever, whatever temporary variable that we want. So if we actually got a result, so if it's not an empty array, we can say this. It can go ahead and equal a join position of num. So we'll print these all out and let's go ahead and replace them so we can change all the space characters to something like a one or a uh, tab character with a zero. Let's go ahead and print all these out. So now we have potential binary characters and values here. Uh, I, let's switch these around. We're gonna end up end up having a 50-50% chance, but okay. Some of these may be in the range of zero to 255 or actually in the ASCII range. So we consider these to be binary with int two. Now we get the numbers that were visible. Some of them may be in the range zero to 255. So they may be ASCII characters, like I said. Let's go ahead and add these in the character form. Um, now let's just say num can equal that value. And if num is actually in the range from 255, let's add it to a flag variable that we'll have right up here. Flag can equal an empty array. And then if it is in that range, we will add a flag append chr, so the character of that num. And then at the very end, we can print out our flag all put together just like that. So we can see we have something interesting in here, like the flag, however, it is reversed. So let's go ahead and reverse our string here. And now let's go ahead and scrape the flag out with just regular expressions, find all. We'll use a new string with the flag format code fest CTF, anything inside the curly braces and we'll get our results. And we have our flag just like that code fest. CTF, spaces, and tabs, our get flag script all combined for us. So a handy dandy thing to just carve through getting those white space characters out. And uh, that's that. That is the polyglot challenge. Let's go ahead and mark this as complete. If we wanted to run that get flag script, save a static copy of it, we could submit that for points. Handy dandy.
All right, special shout out to those people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. You guys are fantastic. One dollar a month or more on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this. Five dollars or more on Patreon will give you early access to all the videos I create before I release them on YouTube. If you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Join our Discord server, link in the description. It's a cool community of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. We will be playing ICTF, Knock CTF, and all the upcoming Capture the Flag games as they come forth. It's a cool, cool thing just to have like 700 people on the team in the server, and it's it's a whoever can play. It's open to everyone. We're all about getting people to learn and get better. So please do join. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, it'd be awesome. I'd love to see you on Patreon. I'd love to see you in the next video. You're the best.